All right, we've got our real material, 280 millimeters wide. I'm going to go 350 millimeters in length. So put that on here, slice it through, bag off to the side. Want to seal one end first. So I make sure I'm over the copper strip. It's going to add all the heat, lock it in place, take about 15 seconds. You'll hear it make a little vacuum noise, but this isn't vacuum sealing it. That's a separate function. So that's it. That's that little noise. That's now sealed. Give it a moment to cool down. We don't want to separate it and open it up while the plastic is still soft or else it'll delaminate. So pop it open now. Put the spool into the bag. Make sure I've got my desiccant in place. All the way up, put my end of my bag, wants to sit inside this little tray area in the middle. Seal it down and then vacuum seal it. As you can see, that's a fair old bit of force sealing that bag in. But that is done. The only downside of the cardboard, it's very, very soft. So it might get damaged in this process. If it does, you can 3D print a plastic ring to go around the outside to protect it. But I've done this, I've had no issues pulling these spools back out. You just gotta bend them a little. As long as they don't crack and delaminate, there's no issues with the spools.